Hey what's going on guys welcome to your third OAuth with Passport tutorial and in this video we're just going to set up a simple express application to build our authentication system on top of. Alright then so the first thing we need to do is create a simple express app on Node.js. Now I did say at the start of the series that you should have a basic grasp of Node so if you find yourself falling behind in this video, then feel free to check out my Node.js for Beginners playlist on this channel. The link is going to be down below. That will really help you out. Anyway, for the rest of us, let's get cracking. I've already opened up this OAuth playlist folder in Atom, my text editor, and it's completely empty at the minute. I've also navigated to this directory inside Commander, but you can use Command Prompt if you wish. And we're going to start a new Node project by typing out npm init. Now this is going to ask us some basic questions about the uh, the project, but most of them I'm going to remain as default except entry point, which I'll change from index.js to app.js just because I prefer it. The rest I can leave as default. This is fine. And now we can see we have our package.json file to keep track of our dependencies. Now we need to install a couple of different dependencies for this project to begin with. I'm going to install Express to create our Express application and also EJS because we're going to use that to template our template files, right? So we'll say npm install EJS and Express. Now, if you have the new version of Node and npm, uh, I think it's five and above, then you don't need to say hyphen hyphen save. We can just press enter. It's automatically going to save these to our dependencies. So I'm going to see you once these have installed. All right, so once those have installed, you can see them right down here in your dependencies. So now we can crack on with our application. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new file over here called app.js. And inside this app.js is where we're going to kick everything off. Now, the first thing we need to do is require express. And I'm going to store this in a constant called express. So require express. We need that to create our express application. And then underneath, we're going to say const app is equal to express and we're going to invoke that function so that's going to create our express application right the next thing i want to do is set up a view engine so i'll say set up view engine right there in a comment so we know what's going on and we'll say app.set this is how we set a view engine and in a string i'll say view engine this is what we want to set and the second parameter is going to be a string as well to say we want to use ejs which is what we just installed so now later down the line, we can create these EJS templates that we're going to serve up to the user. OK, the next thing I want to do is listen to a port number, right? So I'll say app dot listen to do that. And we're going to listen to port number 3000 on our local host. And we're going to fire a callback function when this has started listening to this port. And inside here, we can just log a message to the console. So we'll say console dot log and then we'll say app now listening for requests on port 3000. All right, pretty simple. So now we're listening for requests on this port on localhost. We also now just want to create a simple route for the home page. So I'll say under here, create home route, and then I'll say app.get, and we're going to get just forward slash, which means to go to localhost colon 3000 for the port forward slash. So this is the home route. And then we're going to use an ES6 arrow function to do the callback. And this function is going to take in the two parameters, the request object with information about the request and also the response object. So all we're going to do inside here is render a template. Now we'll say response to do that dot render and say which template we want to render. Now we've not created one yet, but we're going to call it home and we're going to create that template now. So oops, let's control save that and create a new folder over here for our views, our templates. And inside here, we're going to create a template called home.ejs. So new file home.ejs. And let's create our HTML template in here. In Atom, I can just type in HTML and then tab is going to create that kind of boilerplate code for me. And we'll need a title, which I'm just going to call OAuth Tutorials. So I'll say OAuth Tutorials. And then down below here in the body is where we want to create our HTML template. Now, what I'm going to do is just copy and paste this from my GitHub repository, because I know you don't need to uh, see me type out some HTML. So we have just a nav right here, first of all, with a UL inside and just one LI tag. 
and this is a link to the home page we can see right here we just have forward slash which is the route that we just created so we have that in the nav at the top then we have a header underneath that which is just a h1 and a h2 tag then a main which is a p tag probably the best OAuth tutorials on the planet no lie okay so there we go there's our basic home page now if we run this and view it in a browser i'm going to say nodemon and by the way i've installed nodemon if you want to do that just say npm install nodemon and then g for global right that's going to install it globally on your computer if you've not installed nodemon don't worry you can use node app instead i'm using nodemon which means i don't have to re uh, keep restarting the server uh, nodemon app.js this is going to run the app.js file for us you can see app now listening for requests on port 3000 that was that little console log message we had right here so now if i direct myself to localhost 3000 we can see the home page because it's rendering this home view right here so node automatically knows to look in the views folder for a template called home because we said right here we want to use the view engine ejs right so it's grabbing that home template right here and it's serving it to the browser looks a bit crappy at the minute so let's give it some style and again what i'm going to do is just copy and paste this from my github repository so you don't have to watch me typing out all this css stuff because at the end of the day you're not here to learn css you're here to learn about passport.js and authentication so just some basic styles really we've given a font family of Arial to the body we've colored the background of the nav like a red color uh, give it some padding then same with the ul we've made this a max width of 960 pixels so that it sits in the middle and uh, the nav li the style type none etc etc so some really basic styles going on right here but feel free to look through them at your own leisure save that and let's check this out one more time we can see now it's starting to look just a little bit better right so we have this home page and then this link at the top which when we click it is obviously just going to refresh the page because it's going to just forward slash like so right so there we go we have this basic express application up and running now so that in the next tutorial we can take this one step further and start to look at the actual oauth process again if you feel like you've not really understood what i've done here in node.js please do check out my node.js for beginners series that goes into depth into everything when it comes to creating express applications and is really going to help you throughout this course